today's gospel reading is a continuation of what we heard yesterday in the story of the widow's might. So Jesus is still in the temple and people are looking at just how beautiful was this temple. It was one of the, the most beautiful buildings on earth. And Jesus is saying, you're looking at all of these things here in the temple, all of the votive offerings, all of the stones, all of this magnificence. But he says that it will come to an end. In this Gospel of St. Luke was written after the year 70, when the, the temple in Jerusalem was destroyed. So the early Christians are saying, you know, what Jesus said has come true. And he says that not only will it fall apart, but that it will be thrown down. It will be by violence that people will take apart this beautiful uh, temple. And the Jewish people believe that this was the very dwelling place of God on earth in the temple. But Jesus is, has also taught his disciples that he is going to be the new temple. Where Jesus is, we can experience God. So if we were to go to Jerusalem and not see the temple, it does not mean that we will not see the very presence of God. And the question is, where can we find our Lord? If we're sure about what the answer is, blessed are we. We can find the very presence of God in many places today. We don't have to go to one, part, one place in the Holy Land. He is within each and every one of us. Our lives are that sacred that we are tabernacles. We carry our Lord with us. But first we have to invite him. We have to make space. We have to welcome him to be our Lord. We will hear his voice in sacred scripture. We will receive him in the sacraments. And through prayer, we will open up that space to allow his presence to be among us. And what a great vocation it is for each and every one of us who has been baptized to be that that carries our Lord wherever we go. May our faith be strengthened by our participation in this Eucharist. May we continue to give ourselves to our Lord in prayer and to be his instruments in this world. Mm -hmm.